Welcome to Thursday Tech Tip with me, Kelly George, where each week we will deliver proven tips on how to take care of your lawn. Let's get growing. Hey, turf nerds, it's me, Kelly George, and I'm gonna show you what happens when tree roots go up against irrigation lines. So when I was opening this irrigation system, I noticed that there was not much water flow and I could hear cavitation of the water. And so when I dug up this hole, this is what I found. I found that the tree roots were growing around the lateral line or the zone line for the irrigation system. So, that's a pretty big root. So now what I've got to do is I've got to come in and I've got to splice a piece here and here to fix this so that we can get going again and uh, get this guy back to running the way he's supposed to. Also, if you notice, right here is another root going right across. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna chop that root out so that it doesn't become a problem later on down the road. Although trees are really pretty, eventually they do come and bite you in the rear end with problems like this. So if you have a zone that just doesn't have very much pressure, you hear a sound in the ground, um, it might be a tree root that's causing the problem. This tree root and irrigation pipe are definitely going to hit my wall of shame in my shop. So I don't have Sydney here filming with me today, but I want to show you some of the things that I'm going to use to fix this with. Number one, we're going to use what they call a poly stretch. And that's what this is. And the one side will pull out. I don't know if I can do that and um, hold the phone at the same time. So let me see if I can figure out a way to do this. All right, so you see how you just pull it? And it slips out. So what that's going to do is uh, fill the, the gap because we don't want to kink our poly line, which is what this blue piece is here. And then what we're going to have to do on the other end is we're going to have to use this one inch coupler. I also use these pressure clamps right here. Um, and what I do is I use a special set of pliers to pinch this area right here uh, to, to clamp the hose onto the fitting. Now, I always use two clamps on each side of the fitting in the event that one clamp breaks. Uh, these are not perfect, as you can see, they're kind of riveted right, right there. Uh, sometimes those break, so I always put two on there just because I'm a belt and suspenders kind of fella. So as you can see here, I've put my poly slip right here. I have the two clamps clamped down. I have my new poly in here as a splice. And I put that coupler in here. I'm gonna clamp these down. I'm gonna pull these two down and clamp those. And once I get this all on, I'm gonna clamp it down and put it right, right in there. And so then we'll be able to run the water through and we'll see lots of water pressure. So here's the finished product. We've got the splice in there all nice and dandy. And we're gonna turn on the water and we're gonna watch that sucker go. Woo, boy. Look at that water pressure go, boy. So I'm not sure if you can hear this or not, but you can hear the sound of water cavitating. And what is happening here is that the tree roots are pinching the irrigation line. And if you look out here, these heads are not doing a good job because they're not getting enough water flow and they're just kind of spitting out of them. And some of the heads aren't even coming up. So my job is to figure out where the sound is coming from, dig in the ground, and hopefully I locate it quickly. So it sounds like 
the pipe that's cavitating or the water that's cavitating is right underneath this root. Okay, so now we're working on the second problem, which was another tree roots um, not allowing the zone to work. And I just want to show you what we've been dealing with here. And uh, quite frankly, this 50 year old is tired. So here's the first root. Here's the second root. And here's a bunch of different roots that I've chopped up. Kind of feel like uh, a lumberjack of sorts. But anyway, what we've got is this big massive root coming through here and there was a bunch of them. And right here is one line. It was getting choked off and there's the other end. So what we're gonna do is we're going to splice here, splice over here, and we're gonna make a piece go up and over that root because that root is so big, I can't even begin to get that out of there. Okay, so here it is. We finally got around and cut that piece off. And then we cut this piece off and now we're gonna take a hose around or our poly pipe around and hit it under there. Are you ready? Okay, on the count of three, it'll be fixed just like magic. One, two, three. See? It was magic how that happened. And you see that I've got the splice there. And if I can, if it gives me enough room, I like to have one uh, pinch point here and the other pinch point here or on the other side of it. I uh, couldn't do anything here, so they're really close to one another. You can see over here that I've got uh, a little bit off-centered, and same with that one there. Okay, so now we're going to test for leaks. We've got uh, the irrigation going. There are no leaks here. And now, let's look at all of those heads. They're all up beautiful. They're spraying like a champ. And I think we've got our issue resolved. So depending on the age of the tree um, and your age, um, you might want to have a younger professional do this job. Uh, there was a lot of axing. There was a lot of sawing. There was a lot of sweating. So unless you are really in good shape, go ahead and and uh, pass this one off to a professional. Uh, but if you got small roots that are doing this, it's easy enough to just dig them out yourself and do that. So that's uh, how to solve this problem. So until next time, see you later. Bye. For more tips like these, click on the subscribe button below.